25-20 Eagles is the bottom line. They're 13 and 1. Bring on the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, I know we were we thought maybe we might not be able to say that so readily at one point in the first half, but that's not the case. And Jalen Hurts, 300 plus yards passing, overcomes two interceptions and the Eagles three to total turnovers to win this game. Well, I say great win. Well, I've been sitting here for the past what? Four, well, 15 weeks now, just taking all this stuff in from mm -hmm. Jaws about turnover battle. Well, they won it without the turnover battle. Yes, they did. You, normally, you lose the game when you play like the Eagles yes. played in regards to turnovers, but they made it up for with great play from Jalen Hurts in the passing game. Wow. I thought he struggled inconsistent throughout the game, but, man, when he that throws some dimes, the deep ball accuracy was prevalent. Yeah, especially that, that big one he dropped in to A.J. Brown as the birds come off at Soldier Field victorious. Ruben. Uh, that that was a, a brilliant play, and, and certainly there were struggles throughout this game, but they pull it out against the Chicago team that's now lost seven in a row. And, and this is what you love about Jalen Hurts and really about this team overall, their ability to stare adversity in the face and come out on top. I mean, you go back to opening day in Detroit when they almost blew a 17-point lead. The Colts game when they were down 10 going into the fourth quarter. Every time they've been challenged that way, they've come out ahead. And, it, you know, they're 6-0 and now in one possession games. Uh, they find a way. And it's always a different way. You never know who's going to do it. And, you know, these are probably Jalen's worst stats of the year. But what a performance by him to overcome those early mistakes and turnovers, two interceptions. One of them was pretty bad interception deep in, in Bears territory. And, and to make those plays in bad conditions, cold, windy, a lot of things working against them uh, just speaks volumes about him. Builders. Yeah, I, I think it is important to underscore what Ruben just said, find a way, because it wasn't pretty. And, and But the bottom line is the victory and 13-1, Lane Johnson, Nick Sirianni walking off triumphant. Yes, it's not always going to be pretty in the NFL. Chicago's playing the game to try to get a win as well. They have been struggling coming into this game. It's their Super Bowl. Yeah, it, it really was against the team. It's the best record in the NFL. And now they go to Dallas and We'll be talking about that to be sure. But when you look at uh, Josh Sweat and what that defense did, the sacks it got on a very agile Justin Fields. And here's a guy who's difficult to keep in the pocket. He ran all over the place. But man, he's one of the stars of the game right here. A.J. Brown. Woo. Well, you are too of the show. But A.J. Brown. Nine for a buck 81. I mean, Dimes thrown by Jalen Hurts on the deep ball. Caught the tough pass over the middle. Contested catches. catches. So I call those combat catches. He comes down with the football. Tremendous game by A.J. Brown. And, and the third too. down to win the game. You're and right. Devontae, Go ahead, too. Both these guys. You know, you sit here and two years ago, the Eagles' leading receiver was Travis Fulgham and Greg Ward. And, you know, here we are with two elite guys. Both made huge plays, uh, you know, throughout the game in bad conditions. And, you know, the Eagles are so lucky to have him. Jalen's so lucky to have him. Good for Howie getting them here. Yep. It's been a long time since they had two receivers who could make these kind of – a long time since they had one. And Goddard's going to be coming back, um, I would believe, next week. So, boy, the, the full array of weapons at Jalen's disposal. Today we didn't have the running game. I'm kind of surprised they didn't press the running game a little bit, but Hated certainly it. the passing game – came up big when they were called upon. That would yeah. be the only question, and, and maybe we can try to answer it, is that Nick Sirianni and his staff have shown a willingness to take what the opposition gives you. If they're going to give you the pass, they take the pass. The run, they take the run. And we thought we would see big-time run, Double uh, you B. Know, I, at this time, I think I'm going to question uh, the play calling of this team because um, they didn't get stopped with the run. I thought that they didn't run the appropriate plays for it. The play calling was an issue for me today. I, they didn't need to do that much running. And, and, and when they did run, putting Jalen Hurts in that type of predicament where those guys would come up, they were buttoning him up. They were hitting him. He got some aches and pains this time. You know, there's going to be a whole lot of Epsom salt and, and hot and cold whirlpool from this game that Jalen Hurts took some punishment. And short so week. I'm, I'm just talking about a time. You know, this, this shouldn't be a game where, you know, yes, we should be happy they won. But it's the way in which you win sometimes. And this game, they should have pressed the issue with the run. They could have ran it between those tackles. They chose not to. They tried to run on the outside. Inside is where you could have made your hay. And we want to welcome those of you who have been watching the Dallas Cowboys-Jacksonville Jaguars game and watching Dallas lose they lost. in overtime. Yes. So they wow. fall to 10-4. and four. 
And the, how about this? Dak Prescott throws a pick six returned by the Jaguars for a touchdown. And what a shock. What a disappointment. 40 to 34. Did you call, oh, did you call pull, it? Pull that tape out from the pregame show. It? That was a Jaws call. Yeah, yeah I, I saw it. was a Jaws Santa call. Santa Jaws got that one yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One win away now from clinching the number one seed. And what yeah. it means is it, Eagles have to win one more game. One more game. And, and they're the number one seed, which they're going to do. Just might do it Saturday in, uh, in, in Dallas. That's the kind of game the Eagles win. That's the difference between the yeah. Eagles and other teams Absolutely. right now. They're winning these. Oh, that was an ugly game, Dallas and, and Jacksonville. Win. How about Doug Peterson helping, uh, helping out Nick Sirianni? Made that call. Made that call. And, and you know what? I think that Jeffrey was, knew that, and that's why Jeffrey made that move. So that, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, well, you're really, really stretching Is out, that a stretch? I don't, I don't know. I thought maybe he had the These guys know vision. how hard it is to win <laughs> yeah. in the NFL. And to be 13-1 and one means you've overcome a lot of things things in a lot of games. Cowboys couldn't do it today. The Eagles did. Yeah. As, as I was writing, as, as Rubes is talking, 13 and 1. 13 and 1. People need to understand what an incredible record that is. Absolutely. Sometimes just yes. throw it out there. What's that record? 13 and 1. 13 and 1 yeah. is remarkable. This team is on a roll right now. It wasn't the greatest football game. Eh? Some mistakes by, on both sides of football and special teams. However, 25-20, 13 and 1. Yeah, only one other time in franchise yeah. history, right? 2004, that this team was 13 and 1. And we know what that ended up. That ended up with a Super Bowl appearance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe the same this time, well, this, but with a Super Bowl victory. You're right, Mike. And, and this is what you call a character builder. This is where you go out and you understand you're not going to win every single game. Well, the Eagles. They went out and assured that they're at least going to be a uh, favorite going into this game next week. I can't wait. I mean, I, I really want to talk about the Chicago game. But I'm, I think but not I'm really. On, I'm, on, I'm on to the Dallas game already. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm on to I'm Dallas. On to the, he's like, you know who else is on the Dallas game? Nick Sirianni and his oh, staff. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. on to the Dallas game. <laughs> I want to give you an official welcome to Eagles Post Game Live, presented by our friends at Cure Auto Insurance. Birds with a big win. They are 13 and 1. Barrett Brooks, Ron Jaworski, Ruben Frank. I'm Michael Barkan. In a moment, we will hear from Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts and all the principals in a significant Eagles victory that puts them to 13 and 1. The only question I I would have about this, and I know you guys will roll your eyes just because it's me, but uh, Jalen, I don't like Jalen Hurts, thank you. I don't like Jalen Hurts being punched around, used, used as cannon fodder. Too much. I, I really that. don't. You got a 20 I degree day, that. six degrees is the real feel with the, with the wind chill, and you've got this guy, you know why he ran for uh, 3.6 yards per carry? Because he couldn't run for eight, that's why. Well, he, you know, he was met by Chicago defenders. I don't like it. It's hard to tell how many of those were called plays by, by Shane how many were just him trying to avoid uh, trouble in the pocket? How many were Jalen checking out of stuff? It's hard to tell, but whatever the breakdown, it was too much. He took a beating today. Yes, there, it was concerning. There was one play. He rolled to his right, started going upfield, got hit. And a defensive lineman coming in from his left side, yep. he got on that shoulder. 99. And, oh, man, the first thing I went was shoulder injury. I've been there. I felt that. And he stayed down a little bit. Yeah, when you got a guy, 300 pounder, falling in you, and the ground stops, and everything else keeps going down, that's when the injuries happen. But he got up, and he was fine. But he took. I agree. I agree with everyone what you said already. Too many hits to the quarterback. Ice He's pass. too valuable yes. to take those. My hits. goodness, you have Miles Sanders, who's like leading the NFL yeah. in rushing yards per carry, having an incredible year. I think they ran 19 plays before he had a carry. Four carries in the first half. It's unacceptable. I mean, didn't get his fifth. And Shane's done a great job this quarter. year, but I don't get that. And I get that they thought they had some matchups thrown deep, and, and I understand that, but you're, you're putting your quarterback at risk, and you have one of your best players not getting involved. And I thought the way they threw so much early, they never really got into a rhythm offensively because yes, of that. Because right. yeah, they right. weren't balanced. They never established the running game. And they tried. Eventually, it was too late. I, I would like to know, though, whether it was, as you suggested, might have been Jalen Hurts making those calls and those runs Somewhere. versus some, Shane some, Steichen some were called. and the some plays called for him. Some were called runs. But some were obviously Jalen breaking the pocket, and hey, you got to give the Bears some credit. I thought they had a good they had a good game plan going into the game. They played a lot of zone. They had the linebackers staring at Jalen. They weren't going to let him break from the pocket, and they were going to attack him. But there were a few times he came with those blitzes, and he beat the blitz. A long touchdown run on the quarterback draw it was a beautiful, beautifully designed play. 
Kelsey does a great job. Boom, Jalen reads it, bounces out, and takes it to the end zone on yeah. a quarterback draw. And you're, you're going to hear from head coach Nick Sharon. He's going to say, look, guys, you know, understand the passes a lot. But there were a lot of RPOs we ran. You know, those RPOs or what they called or, or even read Run options. Run pass option. Yeah, yeah. so they, they, he had an opportunity to hand the ball off. He didn't hand the ball off. The, the, um, you know, at this point, the ends would crash down, which kept him from um, handing the ball off to him. So he had to keep it. The Bears wanted him to keep the ball, and they started crunching him. I mean, it, their game yeah. plan worked. Here's the quarterback comparison presented by Team Toyota. And we look at Jalen Hurts and Justin Fields' numbers. And Hurts, after all of that, he still throws for over 315 passing yards, 8.5 yards per attempt. That's pretty darn good. He has two picks which is a surprise for him because he takes better care of the ball than that. Normal. Passer rating of 64.6, which is not good. Look at Justin Fields at 119.5 and the rushing yard, 61 to Fields is 95. And Hertz runs for three rushing touchdowns, including that 29-yarder, or, or excuse me, 22-23 uh, 23-yarder. It looked like he actually carried the ball from the 25 or 26-yard <laughs> line, though, as he went in for the score. That's the quarterback comparison presented and by the difference Team Toyota. Is one guy can make plays in the passing game, the other guy can't. He, he doesn't have the weapons, doesn't have the experience, yeah. doesn't have the offense. That's what I said in the pregame. He might run for 100 yards. They're not going. That can't beat the Eagles. They're going to have to make plays in the passing game, and they didn't make enough. No, they, they didn't make enough. But, More than I thought. But, but when enough. you look at Justin Fields, just a quick parenthesis, he, he looks like he could be something special down well, the line. Well, actually, yeah. Fox showed a pretty good graphic during the course of the game where they did the first 14 games or whatever, what how many games from, from Fields uh, and from Hertz. And they were pretty comparable. Now, this year, obviously, Jalen has taken off and elevated his game. But you can see that Justin Fields, first, the athletic ability to escape from the pocket. He can throw the heck out of the football. He does not have the weapons that Jalen Hurts has. And that's the difference right now. The full complement, the full array is at the disposal of Jalen Hurts. And you throw in the offensive line. That leather, uh, leatherhead... Couldn't block me right now. Yeah, wait, we, uh, need, we need to switch. Leather wood, leather yeah. wood, leather. Alex, <laughs> leather wood. I, I need leather to be out there playing head. a steady. Yeah, you, I thought you were yeah. going to sign <laughs> up again. Oh my God, he, he was a turnstile over there, right yeah, tackle. He was. Yeah, but he makes great leather wood products. Leather, leather wood, <laughs> leather. Hair, <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's not on our team. When, Corinthian when, leather. Yeah, when you when you <laughs> look <laughs> at what happened to to both the teams that will go against each other next week in the Eagles and the Cowboys, the Eagles get their victory. The Cowboys do not. I'm wondering if you think. There, there was any kind of preoccupation uh, oh. with, with next week's game. Oh. And we, told, we said no, no, no uh, in the pregame. What do you think now, Jaws? Well, I thought about it in the pregame when I said it. I said, what, why are the Dallas Cowboys talking about Jalen Hurts? They got to worry about it. The, the Jacksonville Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence, who've been playing very good football, so they're talking about, oh, the Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. Hmm. Play one game and one play at a time. Don't look down the road. And the Cowboys were, and they got beat by the Jacksonville Jaguars today. Yeah, Rube, you, you thought that that would have been uh, a little foolish to think that. but And that's coaching. Uh, you know, that's coaching. That's a coach down there in Dallas who doesn't have his team focused. It's that simple. I mean, that, doesn't ha that stuff does not happen in this clubhouse. It just doesn't happen mm -hmm. because of the coach. I just don't think that, you know, they went in with the proper focus. They thought that, all right, this is Jacksonville. They're just going to go in and beat this team up. Well, that team kept fighting. And that's the difference between the Eagles and the, the Cowboys. They focus. They take one game at a time, one play at a time. When they went into the halftime, they're like, look, guys, we already know what we have to do. Let's just go out there and make it happen. And they made it happen. But they can't continue to make the mistakes they had today, though. The Cowboys were fortunate last week yes, to escape were. with a win against the Houston Texans. Although, right. I know they're giving uh, Kansas City a heck of a battle right now. But... Rube said it. If your team isn't focused on the job at hand, you get beat. This wasn't a uh, beautiful performance by the Eagles today, but they find a way to win the game. The bottom Winning's line is beautiful find a way to win the game. Character. Chiefs won yep. in overtime, by the way, over okay. the Texans. Uh, so, so good for Andy. Thank you Reed for the update, and company. You know, you we're, we're, ben, we, we are on. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm all over it, man. I'm on the screen. Oh, also, Mike Mulhern just told me our esteemed <laughs> producer. But, but when when you when you look at this. Eagles team, and uh, we talked about whether it was system, Micah Parsons, system versus talent. Uh, and the way they failed to get on the board and rack up the yards in the first half, that, that was the coaches. Mike, is, is, is all evident right there. The quarterback position is where we're better than the Dallas Cowboys. 
our quarterback will go out and win the game. Dak Prescott lost the game for him. You know, they're they going to play this in Dallas. Yeah, well, you just said they're going to play Let me say it again. Yeah, that, that, our right. quarterback is better <laughs> than you. Dallas' Thanks, quarterback. <laughs> Dak Prescott is not better than Jalen Hurts. He is the better quarterback. Hence, that's why we come away with a victory, and they come away with a loss. Would the former Eagles quarterback that won the <laughs> NFC Championship I'm, game I'm, in 1981 <laughs> like to say anything? <laughs> I Over the Cowboys. I, I, hey, I would love to see them in the playoffs again. I would love to see the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to get them Saturday or Friday night. When are we? When, Saturday. 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 So you got it's me Friday. You got me on Friday, Josh. Yeah. You got we'll me all fired here. up. I didn't know they were playing anymore. See you here Friday. Uh, Dallas Cowboys <laughs> in the playoffs again. I would love it. Yeah. I would love but, to you know, have that. That's what the Cowboys organization has been for a long time now. You know, a huge game, they lose. I mean, a huge game coming up next week, they anything. Yep. You know, yeah. Like 25. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, is the last yeah. time remember, they did it. Remember anything. David Akers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When he that said the beautiful. last time they won a Super Bowl or were competing for a Super Bowl, none of their players were ever drafted? Yeah. Out of that. 27 the, years ago. The I mean, other, they won like three playoff games since then. The other item we talked about pregame as we wait for Nick Sirianni Ayers. and Jalen Hurts and everybody else who, uh, who brought the Eagles to a 25-20 victory the, is, is Kayvon Wallace who came in there and filled in ab admirably. And, and when you've got short yardage situations, when you've got running situations by the Bears, we, we thought that he might excel there as opposed to in the past Passing well, yeah. defense. Well, I, I mean, look at it. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. you couldn't have laid it out better than you laid it out. This is a game custom made for Kayvon yep. Wallace. Fox yeah, player. and he's a sure tackler and he's physical, and that's what they needed today. Yeah. I was yeah. impressed. You know, he's he's had stretches where he hasn't played that well. I mean, right. You know, he was kind of he showed up today. He was given reps with the first team at points this summer and didn't hang on to it. You know, they, they went and got Chauncey Garner Johnson, and he was on the bench, but he came up big today. Mm -hmm. I mean, Reed Blankenship jumped over him. If yep. it wasn't for Reed yep. being out right now, he wouldn't be playing right now. But this game, he went and he played. I can't say anything about about him playing because he balled out this game. He played his butt off this game. Really this did. is a group that couldn't threaten him. The, the, the Bears receiving core doesn't scare anyone. And this defense played terrific in the secondary. They, they, they didn't got their back pedal. They have to worry about it. Yeah. Nothing was in front of them. <laughs> I, I know you had talked uh, in the pregame, and, and we were talking while we were watching the game, of the coldest conditions you ever played in 1981. It was the NFC that, Championship game yeah. in, in, in 1980. It was, I think the real temperature was like three or four degrees. The, the wind chill was 15 below. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was cold. And, but of course, it was that nice, soft turf at Old Veterans Stadium. So <laughs> we don't have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Very, very cushioning. So, hey, before the game, the garbage trucks were going up and down the field of veterans to break up the ice. You know, we didn't have like these heated, heated fields and all that. It was kind of crazy. Bring in the garbage yeah, trucks. Those are elements. That was, that was old school football. And I know you were, tell, you were saying in Bird's Huddle pregame that, that it became a, a symbol of, of manliness to wear short Tough. sleeves. No, well, right? I, was a, I was a lineman. You can't wear oh, sleeves. No. But, you know, it, it just look at the players. You know, look at Vontae Smith. You know, I mean, uh, Vontae Maddox, no sleeves on. You look at... Uh, uh, Smitty, no sleeves on. Jalen Hurts, no sleeves on. They they embraced it also. The elements were not going to be any set any limitations for them. They still went out there and balled out.